in a world where hermaphrodites rule, one Thompson Rivers University researcher tried the odds and found a population of buttercups whose gender morphs are seen in less than 2% of all the flowering plants in the world. And took a leap of faith to understand how this was occurring. My name is Kristen Tilbury. I am a fourth year chemical biology major at Thompson Rivers University. What I've done is I surveyed a population of buttercups who have both hermaphroditic and male morphs within the population. Obviously hermaphrodites can pollinate themselves as well as cross-pollinate with other individuals so it's quite easy uh, to sort of pass your genes on or um, survive with more options obviously. Uh, males don't quite have it as easy. They have to export their pollen. Um, the pollen has to sort of win the race to an ovule and um, produce offspring for that morph to maintain itself within a population. So there has to be something in the male morph that keeps it doing what it's doing, whether that be a scent, uh, something that the bees are attracted to, whether it's um, chemical makeup, uh, just abundance of pollen, abundance of stamens, which are the male part uh, on the flower, or pretty much anything there, which is where my sort of chemical biology expertise came into play. My future, um, I'm not sure yet. Um, grad school is looking quite nice. Um, maybe a professional school. Um, the options are kind of endless. I've gotten a chance to sort of get my feet wet in all sorts of different things in science. So it's been really good. The smaller universities certainly helped me with that. So that's been really nice. But um, other than that, I'm looking forward to uh, showing you guys my results. See the results. March 30th, 2012.